So today we're back in LEGO 2K Drive with another build, and I think you guys are gonna like this. At least a lot of the OG viewers, uh, you might have heard something called the Zombie Buster, which I've created in Scrap Mechanic and Brick Rigs, and I feel like we're gonna bring it back here today. But first, we've gotta complete some more races. I gotta get up to level 20, that way we can unlock, uh, I think, the A class. So we've got a race here. Uh, this is where we won the big text truck, but we did that in C class. We need to complete this again in B class. So yeah, super excited. I can't win that monstrosity again. That's a, like one of the best looking vehicles, but one of the worst handling vehicles in the game. All right, so here we go. B class. Is that a tractor in front of me? Oh my goodness, it kind of looks like it. Can we win the tractor? How do I get that thing? That thing is awesome. All right, just power through here. Oh, uh, don't get stuck in the weeds here. That will definitely slow you down. Oh my goodness, we are immediately getting blown up here. No, this is perfectly fine. Just blow up a couple other people here. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. Okay. Wait. Oh, I thought we were in first there. No, we're in fourth. I didn't see anybody in front of me. That means everybody else is, like, really far out right now. Uh, but it's fine. We shall catch. Oh, jeez. All right. Blow this guy up here. Boom. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's so satisfying. We're also getting hit again by a minigun. Wait, where is first and second place at? Uh, we need to uh, definitely get some speed here. I'm going to send those out. Uh, that way I can get the missile pick up here. Uh, six laps, so we got plenty of time. I just would love to figure out where, like, first and second are. Uh, we're, like, kind of back here in the pack. Oh, no, is Komodo finally not fast enough to uh, win these races? Ooh, jeez. Okay, wait, why not have the explanation? Wait, that's going to be the square wheels, but we're ghosted, so we should be good. Oh, there they are. Okay, there's first, second, and third right in front of us there. That's good. Okay, you just gotta catch up to them. I, I wanna send a couple more mines out their way. Uh, uh, chunk those. Uh, actually, I don't even know where those land. I'm surprised we didn't run back into them. Oh my goodness, they're in into that one though. All right, oh, here we go. Mini gun time. All right, time to take out the whole field. Take out first place, take out. Oh my goodness, I think we blew everybody up there. That's perfect. Uh oh, missile. Okay, I did not have enough time to react to that. It's fine. All right, all right. get the big power up here and oh. Believe in miracles. Oh, I missed him. No, I hit the mine again. Okay, I need a missile here. All right, this is going to be for you. And boom, I blew up. Wait, what the heck was that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. What did we get hit by? That had been like a power up on one of the vehicles. Okay, we really have to make some moves here because uh, it is about to end. Save up. No. Okay, there's the finish right there. No, 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 no. Okay, hit everybody and wait, did I just hop everybody to win? We passed everybody in the last hill. I think I jumped the whole field, like at least the top like two. So we built this gigantic burger last time, a pretty cool little vehicle, but today it's going to be a little bit different. Now I think this is definitely going to be like an off-roader. Uh, I don't have like, I think the original Zombie Buster had a six wheel setup, uh, which I don't quite have anything like that. Uh, I don't even think I want to put like the ginormous wheels. I think we want to keep it right around this dirt champion. Uh, I kind of like this uh, style of chassis here. It's light. Uh, it's not going to be light once we're done with it, because this is going to be probably a rather big build. All right, I need some really big flat pieces here. We got to extend this thing out quite a bit. Uh, so I'm thinking, hmm, would times four? Yeah, that'll get it done. So we'll stretch it out there, and then we're going to add a platform to the back. Uh, so I might have to make a couple changes to the actual design. Uh, but I think we'll still have, like, the spikes in the front, the nice, uh, really big... I mean, it was really just a big rectangle, but it was meant to be able to, like, plow through zombies. Which, by the way, there is zombies in the game, so technically this is something that we can use. Okay, so we're gonna need to attach these, uh, in the front here. Uh, that way I can, uh, have as many spikes and stuff to run over different items. It's gonna be fine. So I think I'm gonna create my own fenders with this. I don't think I want uh, the like the pre-built fenders in the game. You know, I actually might be able to use them. Uh, I'll have to see, cause it would be kind of nice to have a little bit of form around them. But yeah, it doesn't have to be ridiculously detailed. So one thing I'm gonna try to clean up on my builds is not using like a bunch of flat pieces on top of each other on the sides. That way it looks a little bit more solid. All right, so I got those built up, but can I put the wheel wells in? Uh, I think we are gonna experiment with those. Okay, I have some pretty big ideas in my head. We're gonna change the front end up just a little bit, but I wanna keep that original grill look. Uh, we're gonna have the spikes, but I wanna add some more uh, grays, and I wanna add some lights in the, fir uh, the front of this thing, so uh, I think it's gonna come out really, really quite nice. Uh, I gotta figure out how I wanna do the grill design. I have a bit of an idea. Uh, I'm gonna have to alternate between uh, colors, but I'm thinking about putting uh, like two pegs up, 
Uh, so we'll go like two up and then I'll have a grill piece that goes across that's gray and then we'll do like one peg in between each. Uh, that way, I mean, to me, that's probably the most iconic thing about the Zombie Buster is that front end. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking about for the grill. So it kind of does look like the original grill. I'm going to add one more gray piece up in there. So I need to come up with something uh, for the spikes uh, in the front. Hmm. What pieces do we want to use? I kind of like this piece. Uh, you would have to put two together. Uh, in order to achieve the spikes, which I think would be very possible. So I'm trying to think, maybe we can redirect uh, the bottom of this thing. So yeah, if I use these pieces down here, I can make this whole bottom a little bit bigger. Ooh, those actually look pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so we have the spikes there. You know, we could add another layer to the plow if I wanted to. I feel like that would actually look pretty good. So it's going to definitely be a little bit different than the original design. So I can add this piece here. Actually, it needs to go up one. So there we go. We have like a double plow now. All right. So I got to fix this bumper to even it up. Uh, but I like this. Uh, we'll, we'll move on to the cab. There's not a whole lot to do with the body itself. It was rather plain uh, looking. I might be able to add some things to the top of it, but... Uh, for the most part, to me, it was nailing the uh, the front section uh, to get it to look right. I'm going to close in the cockpit a little bit, and then i got to work on the, the top of it. The top of it did have a light bar on it, so I want to make sure I get that. Uh, I'll probably, during this build, flash it up several times to kind of show you guys what I'm working with. Uh, I'd have to go into Brick Rigs to get like a full model of it. Uh, I don't even think my scrap mechanic one exists anymore. Okay, so here is the front. I think the front actually stays fairly faithful to the original. Uh, I do need to get some lights. Let's use, let's use these and let's change them to a glowing a brick. Maybe we'll do yellow lights on the top. I feel like I want to break up the whole fact that the all the bottoms are the white lights. So we'll do these up here. So there's your overhead lights. All right, so we just got to put the cockpit in. Uh, I kind of want to do something a little bit different on the rear section of this thing. So I, I have a couple ideas. Not going to lie, I kind of want to throw the big engine in here. Can I do that and it still be somewhat exposed? Because uh, it'd be kind of cool to be able to see it uh, in the rear section, maybe on the sides. It's still got to be armored up, obviously, but... I just like the way it looks. Like, I feel like that's awesome. I mean, you could stick it in here, but I remember the inside of it was supposed to be more like a survival base, like a mobile base. So we're going to make it a big rear-engined monster. Okay, so I wasn't sure how I was going to stick doors on this thing, so I actually stuck like a hood piece. I'm going to add a bottom to it. So the Zombie Buster had doors that kind of folded out, uh, like ramps. So it's going to be somewhat similar. I had to change the color up because... The original Zombie Buster was just completely black on the side. There wasn't a whole lot of gray, so I definitely want to maybe make it look a little bit better. So I actually kind of like that. Also, I have some ideas for, like, windows that are kind of barred up. So we got these really cool pieces here that I think we can use, and we can change those uh, to a gray. There's going to be a lot of gray in the build. I mean, there's really no way to actually get by that. It's just the way this thing was. Okay, so the windows are in place. I'm going to leave a gap there. I've got the bottom kind of finished. I'm working on the back wheel well. I think there was, like, a great top of this where you can see inside of it. Uh, and then I think I had, like, plants and stuff on top of this as, like, a little like mobile farm uh, so I think we're gonna try to keep that okay so we have the roof built put some plants on there got some flags on there that way we can just break up the color a little bit because it is obviously really really black uh, so definitely need to adjust that a little bit but I'm gonna add a big bumper to this thing uh, we're gonna close up the back I want to keep the engine somewhat exposed that way it looks a little bit different from the original actually getting close to filling this thing out to where I can't put many more pieces on it so I, I gotta be careful here as far as what I do but yeah I do want to keep that back end open a little bit okay so we have the back end built up I think she is about complete uh, it's about all I can do I've almost run out of bricks I would have liked to have put the flat pieces on the top uh, just to give it a, a little bit more smoother look. But, you know what? Uh, I think the exposed studs are fine. Uh, I like the open back. That way you can actually see uh, into it a little bit. Uh, overall, I think it came out pretty good. Uh, like I said, if they gave a little bit more as far as the limit, maybe like 50 more pieces, I could have done a couple more things with it. Actually, I got an idea real quick. Uh, before we stop, I see a place 
uh, where I can put these wedge pieces maybe behind just to give the front end just a tad bit more shape here. So something like that. I, I think that really just, yeah, it caps it off. I like this. Uh, so yeah, the zombie buster is officially back. Okay, test it out. Oh my goodness, it, it looks glorious. <laughs> the zombie buster uh, is back. Oh, let's make it go. Okay, it's a little sluggish feeling. Uh, it doesn't surprise me, but hey, you know what? It's got a really steady drift. Like, oh my goodness, it's uh, really, really nice. All right, give it a little jump here. Uh, decent at getting air. I like the little flowers turning on top uh, when you get air. Uh, not gonna lie, pretty cool. Okay, so we gotta select a main vehicle. Uh, I think we're gonna go with the electric. And then of course, uh, for uh, the secondary, we have the zombie buster, which is really cool to see that. Uh, I think eventually, I don't know if it's actually implemented yet, we could share these creations, which would be kind of cool. Uh, so do I have, I don't have a skeleton, do I? Need to find a way to unlock one. All right, we'll keep on uh, Yeehaw Bot here. Uh, let's make sure we got all our uh, perks enabled too. So yeah, we're here in Hauntsboro because I feel like that'd be the perfect place for the zombie buster to run around. There actually is a quest up here. Uh, so maybe we'll take that and maybe uh, race it and just see how it does. I'm not expecting anything like tremendous because obviously it is a big vehicle. But I must say, it holds a nice drift. Uh, I do like that part of it. I just really wanted to create this. Not gonna lie, I got kind of like a nostalgia smile on my face. Also, is this a... What the heck? It's a skeleton, like, cop. Smuggling Sally stole the clothes off my back. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, we get a cop car? Wait, what the heck? Okay, hold on. Uh, we are in a police chase right now. Where, where is she? Oh, there she is. What the heck? Oh, we hit her once. Hold on. You really gonna do this? Uh, boom, there's a second hit. Okay, oh, go on, just blow her up. Dude, this is pretty cool. Uh, can we win this cop car? Okay, this is not, I thought we were gonna get to test out the zombie buster, but no, we are uh, full-blown police pursuit. So yeah, well, definitely have to try something else. All right, I need to get up close to you, boom! Come on, Sally! Uh, just keep right on the rear and, oh, I think we missed there. Uh, we're gonna get right up. Can we go in for the pit? Uh, oh, that was another good hit. Dang, she's pretty fast, not gonna lie. Oh, that was another good hit. Uh, what am I supposed to do to you, Sally? Just run, here, let me run into you. Oh my goodness, okay, they turned off last moment, it's fine. Oh, holy man! Okay, I think we blew her up. <laughs> hey, look! Uh, she's now under arrest. Do you get your clothes back, or how does that work? Oh my goodness! Not gonna lie, that's a really cool driver. Uh, I really want that. Also, we, oh, we unlocked a police light bar. Maybe we should be doing some more of these uh, side quests. Hold on, we gotta go to our loadout real quick, because not gonna lie, that's kind of really cute. Yes, I want to be the police officer. I like that. All right, let's find an event that we can actually do with the zombie buster here. So there's another quest. The quests don't always give you a specialty vehicle, but it's kind of cool. Uh, get to do something a little bit more unique opposed to just racing only, because yeah, I'm still waiting to unlock some more. Uh, so let's check out what is going on over here. Why, hello, is this a zombie lady? Yes, it is. Uh, I should be running you over. By the way, there is a brick wall in front of us. This area of town is in need of more spider webs. I hear blue spiders do great work. Oh, do we gotta go collect some? Oh, we gotta go locate them, cool. Okay, you gotta go find the blue spot. Wait, where are the blue spiders? The underground spider nest. Are we by the spider nest? I feel like we are. Okay, searching for an underground section. Uh, I don't know if it was beyond the town. Oh, there's spiders up here, okay. Definitely a lot of spiders out here, uh, kind of creepy. All right, so we're in the green area. Okay, gotta find the underground nest. Looking for blue, so oh my goodness. Uh, they definitely have to be down here. Oh, here we go, okay. Uh, we got three of them. Uh, I gotta go back though. I can only carry three of these bad boys. It's fine, I might be totally lost in here. Uh, can we get out this way? Uh, there we go, okay, found my way out. All right, let's go return these. Oh man, we just smashed another one. All right, here, you can take these. I got it. Oh, they're actually hitting me with spider webs too. Okay, uh, let's go right back in. And yeah, it's just kind of tricky finding a way out. Uh, but you know what? The zombie buster can handle this. The zombie buster surprisingly can get air. Okay, looking for three more. Where are these bad boys at? Uh, oh, there's one, two. Hold on. Oh, go back, back. Okay, come on, I gotta find another one. There's one in here. Okay, I got three. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta get away from the giant spiders. Okay, dude, we were able to drive right out of that. Okay, I gotta lie, I'm digging this. What are we gonna unlock here? On, slow it down, boom, there we go. All right, so what do we get? Uh, what are our rewards here? Oh, we actually got a, uh, a perk, those are nice. And we got some good sweet cash. All right, so Zombie Buster was definitely capable of doing that. 
Uh, what do you say? Oh, look, it actually leveled up too. It's good. We're getting closer to that 20. Okay, so we got another quest here in Hauntsboro called Where's My Mummy? Uh, okay. Uh, let's go see. See what this is all about. I can only imagine. And, oh, wait, what is that? Oh, is that like a gold spider? Oh, it's been a while since I've actually collected one of those. All right. My beautiful kitty got lost in the city. Oh. So, supposedly there's a fisherman by the village. Okay, so we need to head up north here. Uh, yeah, they have a cat somewhere, and I've got to find it. It's okay, I'm used to just fetching people's uh, goods and stuff. I also just hit a big rock. Okay, looking for a cat. Why do I feel like the cat's up high? Uh, what's this person doing? No, that's not the cat we're looking for. We're looking for, like, a sunken ship. Assuming it's on the shoreline. Oh, hello. Would that be our fisherman? Uh, no fish today means no felines getting food. Uh, okay, so now we need to look for the wooden bridges, which I think we passed by one of those. So let's go back this way. Uh, here we go. Wait, you think the cat's below it or above it? Hold on, let's go below real quick. Hmm, nothing below there. I think there's another bridge in town. Here we go. Anything in here? Uh, hold on, let's go up in it. Oh, wait, is that a cat? Oh, and there's definitely a cat here. Get over here. Hello. Oh, this isn't the right cat. The dance floor. Wait, there's a dance floor in here? Wait, why does the haunted town have a disco? Not gonna lie, I'm not sure I've seen the disco yet, so I just gotta keep our eyes peeled. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, there is a disco in here. What the heck? Oh, there's a full-blown club. Please tell me this is the cat. Oh, there we go. I've been dancing for six hours. What? What's wrong with you? Okay. Well, we've got the cat. This is going to be another successful quest. Oh, man. This vehicle just plows through everything. Nice. All right. So we have returned uh, the cat. What do we get for this? Oh, we got a tall flag. Uh, money and experience. It's good. So, yeah. Overall, I think we did a pretty good job here today. I like this. Uh, let me know what you guys think and what you want built next. And we'll see you guys next time.